Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing fantastic. If you are new here, my name is Michelle Adagala and I am a certified personal trainer. I'm also a certified nutritionist. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be touching on the raw truth on good food and bad food. And to be honest, this is where majority of the issues stem from for so many people. Whenever you have this list of foods you should avoid, foods you should be eating, food which is good and bad, food which is allowed and not allowed you know that dichotomization of food is where majority of the issues stem from in regards to people's relationships with food people's perceptions with food i'm not here to tell you that a slice of pizza is equal to a bowl of fruit i'm not here to say any of that but what i'm telling you right now is that food is food what differentiates the two is the level of macronutrients within the food micronutrients within the food fiber content calorie content and whether it aligns with your fitness schools at the end of the day oh, that's right? dichotomization of good food and bad food can be so detrimental to your relationship with food how you perceive food and how it's gonna affect your health and fitness as the months go by so please if you're that person this is your cue to stop just cut it <laughs> Food is food, okay? However, what you should keep in mind is that too much of something is detrimental. It is okay if you have some sugar, but if you have too much sugar, it can be detrimental. You can end up having high blood glucose levels and then end up crashing and having low blood glucose levels and that can be quite detrimental and harmful to your health, right? But at the same time, having too much water can also be quite damaging to your system there's something we call hyponatremia whereby the amount of sodium in your blood is way too little because you've been drinking way too much water and this is something which people can actually die from so don't think that you're drinking so much water to counter the fact that you had so much sugar and you think that you're doing a good thing an excess of both ends is detrimental in regards to eating too much good food there is actually an eating disorder called orthorexia whereby an individual is borderline obsessed with eating healthy food you're not gonna allow yourself to have a bar of chocolate even if you're craving some it is an eating disorder it can be quite damaging to your relationship with food we don't want you to get there okay so oftentimes this black and white thinking is very damaging to your relationship with food what i would advise you is to practice a flexible diet instead that is what i've been doing for <laughs> the longest time ever typically just allowing myself to have a treat if need be practicing the 80 20 rule practicing if it fits your macros which i do cover in detail in my nutrition essentials ebook whereby you can allocate 80 percent of your daily total calories towards wholesome nutrient dense foods and then 20 percent to go towards any treats you'd like to have whenever you say that 100 percent of your calories or, or your eating is going to go to good food oftentimes number one you can end up being orthorexic or you can end up developing other eating disorders like binge eating whereby let's say for instance your plan today is to eat good food but then it's 2 p.m. and you're craving sneakers bar right and you end up eating everything else except for the sneakers bar but then you're gonna end up giving into the craving and actually having your sneakers bar but you're gonna have more than your sneakers bar you're gonna have ice cream you're gonna have have a donut you're gonna have a cronut <laughs> everything all the small treats in your pantry and then finally get to have the sneakers because you are trying to convince yourself so much that you don't need the sneakers when you actually do need the sneakers and remember there's no problem with having your treats in moderation and this is what if it fits your macros advocates for if at the end of the day you've eaten wholesome nutrient dense foods it's 7 p.m and you have about 250 calories left and you have like a muffin in your pantry go ahead and have the muffin not only is it going to satisfy you physically in terms of your cravings but also mentally oftentimes we fail to realize that eating is also a mental process enjoy the food how is it gonna make you feel like mm, today actually i ate really good i ate in a healthy way a manner which is not restrictive a manner which is also balanced so girl 
or guy if you want to have that muffin go ahead and have that muffin you want to learn to strike the balance in regards to what you eat and how you eat it and how you perceive your food you don't want to get to a point whereby you're going to develop eating disorders because of you know how diet culture is set up in today's society or your relationship with food you don't want to damage it because remember this is something which will stay with you for the rest of your life right so learn to strike the balance stop dichotomizing food because there's no such thing as good food or bad food yes there are differences within the nutritional value and how it benefits your body and other implications but at the same time you shouldn't put yourself in a prison because now since you're working out and you're in this fitness journey you're not gonna allow yourself to indulge once in a while having a treat once in a while is not gonna erase all the hard work which you've been putting in the problem is consistently and excessively indulging and overindulging in the things which you perceive as bad food for example the recommended daily allowance for sugar is 30 grams which looks like three tablespoons of sugar and you have your cup of coffee with sugar and that's okay <laughs> you know like you move on with your life and that is pretty much okay so guys remember maintaining your relationship with food comes at the top do not let anything destroy it and with that being said guys i'd like to hear your thoughts i'd like to hear your comments what your relationship with food looks like at the moment whether you have this perception of good food versus bad food and how you're working towards you know just correcting that <laughs> and with that being said guys thank you so much for tuning in today and i'll see you in my next video bye bye <laughs>